Welcome everyone to this F3 race round Silverstone this week. Um, absolutely love this series uh, around here. I love this track in general. Anyone who's watched my videos uh, will know it's my favourite track in the world. Um, so to race any, race any car around here is is lovely. It's, it's good enough um, and great fun, let alone probably my favourite car in iRacing. Um, but unfortunately it makes it even more difficult because I'm not in, able to enjoy it to the fullest because my Rift S headset has decided to go um, or decided to stop working on me this week um, just before this week started. Um, I don't know why, it's just just decided it doesn't want it anymore. Um, I've been in talks with the support team and tried all the fixes that they've, they've given me and nothing seems to work so I'm thankfully within warranty, so it's more than likely I'm going to have to get a replacement. How long it will take to get a replacement, I don't know. But of course, I still want to make content for you guys, and I still want to enjoy racing. Um, so I've gone back to where it's all started. I've gone back to the single monitor. Um, so yeah, it's, it's taking a little while to get used to. So in this race in particular, I did start from the back because I thought, I don't want to tempt fate and get in people's way at the start, because of course my spatial awareness is... Um, I don't have the luxury of being able to look around. So, yeah, but it was still a great, great fun race. I hope you guys still enjoy the content. Uh, yeah, hopefully I can get back to making VR content um, sooner rather than later. And I'll keep you guys posted regardless. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you still like it? Do you prefer, even if you do prefer the VR content, just let me know. Um, just for my kind of own peace of mind that you guys still, still, um, still like the content. But yeah, remember to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Enjoy. So here we are guys, first race without the Oculus headset for a long time single monitor uh, that you guys can't see, but obviously I can. And uh, yeah, it feels very strange to be starting a race without the, the Rift S on, uh, to say the least. Hence why we're starting from the back of the grid and let the carnage unfold in front of us and hopefully uh, pick up the pace. I've done a bit of practice to get used to this. I've just jumped straight back into the first monitor. It, yeah, even with practice, it still doesn't feel right. Uh, you just can't gauge the sense of speed as well and the seating position just feels all weird and and wrong it's even though i'm sitting exactly the same way and exactly the same position um it just feels uncomfortable and unnatural which is which is strange it's it's amazing you don't realize how much um vr actually plays with your brain um but yeah it's quite a 1.7 strength for field. Let's go. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Ah, oh, just realised I haven't got virtual mirror on. Wow, in the middle. That was a. Pero me cago hasta en tu puta madre, hijo de puta. ¿A dónde va, tío? Me cago hasta en tu puta madre. Oh, it looks like there's like. Looks like there's a few cars gone off there. Oh, there's a wall there, mate. Oh my god, blinking. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's 
so horrible not being able to just look and have that spatial awareness. Oh, he's gone. He dead. Well, he's not dead. Just spun. That was slow there, Scott. We survived the first lap. Keep your line there. I don't know whether to. Sh I think I need to break a little bit earlier there in Pops Corner or lift off a bit earlier. It's definitely quicker to go through in six. Ah. The leader's just done it, one fifty two point four. That's where it's difficult. And those sharp corners, you can't see into the corner. Try and get close on the exit of Maggots and Beckett's. I mean, in fairness, it's not terrible being on a single monitor. I mean, if I, I could maybe see myself using three monitors, or um, a big 49 inch ultra wide, of course, as long as it's there positioned correctly, but I still can't, I still don't think you can beat VR. That's the top ten now. Be distracted to defend your position.
Tamam. Tamam. Then trust it. Good racing. Haven't quite got the speed that I'd like. Ah, oh, Scott, you idiot. Completely forgot my breaking point there. I have to look him, look to the side to see who's behind me. Good move there. Bugger up those gears. Ted's not happy with someone. That was terrible. In the draft now.
He's under rotated himself. Got the car underneath him, got on the power too early. No. Track limits, watch those lines. Car left. Clear. Damn it. Slow down, get back some time. Don't let him get away. Oh, that was shocking. Oh well, we're still. We've got a bit of a healthy gap behind us. Our fights with Andy in front. He's not very good in the twisty sections or the slow corners. Sorry, Pedro. Okay, no problem, man. I will report you. Oh, I'm going to report to the boy calling me nice because I know how to speak Spanish, unfortunately for you, and I will report this with a replay, and you'll be back. Wow, someone's not happy. Whoa! Clear left. It's gone way too far. It's behind me now. Let me go. I took extra care there. <laughs> Good corner. Too tight. Oh, Right, and that makes us P7 now. Not too bad, 10 places gained.
thanks. You bet. I mean, already within, uh, he says this, he doesn't really work that corner well. Already it feels a little bit more comfortable on the single monitor. Nowhere near as comfortable or as good as it should be in VR though. But that's understandable. But it's not a terrible alternative. But I'm, um, for obvious reasons, I'm a lot slower. <laughs> Who knows, it may be actually a bit of a blessing in disguise for my eye rating because uh, I may just concentrate more solely on finishing the race and keeping it clean than uh, then posting the fast lap times. Because uh, I know, I didn't shift down in a second there, I know I'm not as fast as I should be. Or as if I was in VR. But yeah. Sometimes I've maybe push a little bit too much in VR. <laughs> right. That was better. Concentrate on solidifying that eighth place, seventh place. So there's a bit of grip. One fifty one nine by Stephen there up front. Quick time. What? I hate Brooklyn's with a passion. That corner is just an absolute nightmare. Entries into it. Positive is that I'm quite considerably faster through there than Andy behind. Can't believe I didn't put a virtual mirror on. <laughs> I 
One more lap. No. Locking up a bit there. One thing I have gone as well is how good eye racing does look on a nice monitor. I mean, the image is nice in a VR headset. Of course, it's never going to be as crisp as it is on a monitor. I'm really impressed with it. I forgot how good it actually was. No need to break through there, Scott. No need to break. One more lap. Not lapping fast, but I'm lapping consistently. I'm sure I'm going through there. Yeah, the practice Brooklyn's, I'm sure I'm uh, shifting down too early, breaking too hard. Probably losing a good half a second there. Or a good couple of attempts. Oh, where am I? Stephen's nearly just taken me out. He's had a crash. So that's a spot picked up on the last lap. Freebie. I know he's trying to make it to the end there, but if he had taken me out, oh my god, there would have been. There would have been some strong words said. And I cross the line, guys. V6, that's the finish. Good drive. Thank you, thank you. Sounds like it was great. And the second. Where we finished? We finished sixth. I'll take that, that's not bad. Back, back of the grids. P11 places gained. I don't know how much I rating I've gained because um, for some reason I haven't turned it on. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's not the usual with the VR. Um, hopefully, it won't be for too long either uh, without VR. Uh, I'm currently going through the support system with Oculus. I'm sure I'll get um, a replacement sent out or a replacement cable, something along those lines, uh, that should fix the issue. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, let me know in the comments below um, if <laughs> if you're okay with this uh, with this sort of thing. Keeping the content coming. Um, and uh, yeah, before I actually say goodbye, let's have a look at some of the incidents. I was going to say goodbye, but I think we'll look at some of the incidents first.
So guys, let's have a look at those incidents, shall we? I know there was a there was a few things that happened at the start. So yeah, let's let's jump into it and, and have a look. So I think this was at Brooklyn's, the first incident that we had to avoid. Ooh. Ooh. That's that's race over. Oh nice. That is a shocking rejoin. That is an absolute, I feel for Aloy there. I think that's how you pronounce his name, Aloy. That is a shocking rejoin. Guys, don't ever rejoin a track like that. Either wait to rejoin. I want to just wait to rejoin because it's a hairpin and there's no safe way to rejoin the track unless you wait for everyone to pass. It's frustrating, you may have been nudged off, but don't do that because you're going to end up doing what you did to the other guy and, and ruining his race. Um, yeah. And then look, he spun, an, he, he spun out of that incident anyway and ends up last. Oh, there's a lot of. There's a lot of avoidance happening at the start, isn't there? What happened with this guy? Oh my god! Oh! Ho 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 ho! Fair play to him. Who is the guy in the Hot Wheels? Because he's not having a fun time, is it? Diego. Diego is not having a fun time. This is the second lap and he's already been in like two, two incidents pretty much. In fairness, that wasn't his fault though. Neither of them were his fault. Sausage so curve? No. Hmm. Just got on the power too early. Oh my god. He must have. <laughs> if you was in VR, you would have. Some, some poo would have come out. Let's just say that way. Oh my god. Oh. He'd done well to avoid everyone else there. Sausage cab. Oh, oh, now. Oh dear. Oh, it comes back. Reattaches itself. Oh, we nearly saved it. Unlucky. Oh, it's the guy I was following. So easy to do through there. This guy's just losing it left, right and centre. Oh, that must have been. So that was the incident he was he was complaining about here. Um, <sighs> intentional or not? I don't know. Pedro is the one who had the terrible rejoin, and then I, mean, I think Pedro has actually got a little bit of a case there. As much as he was at fault for the original incident. I know the corner goes that way, but he'd be breaking at that point. Seems like a sharp left turn to me. I think a lawyer may have done that out of frustration there. I completely understand why. 
but you can't be doing that. Oh, he's lost it again. Oh, no, he's lost it again, and this time it's cost him his race. I want to find out, actually. Oh, my God, what happened there? Did I just skip forward and then... Ah, uh, so he's lost it and he's taken off his front end. Oh dear. So what I want to see, guys, I want to see... Where is it? Where is he? Um, Stephen. Now Stephen, on the last lap, had an issue. Let's have a look here. But he nearly took me out. So where's he gone wrong then? Where's he crashed? Ah, oh, he's, so he's following through Maggots and Beckett's and he's lost it. Taken too much. Dirty air. You'll see though, from me, look how close he is to hitting me here. Okay, maybe not as close as I first thought. Maybe not as close as I first thought. Still a little bit worrying though that he's come onto the middle of the track like that. Because, oh my god, did he... Oh my god, Andy had to take... And he's like, I have no idea which way I'm going. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad, was it really, for the first time? Well, not the first time, but for the first time in a long time that I have been back on just a single monitor. Um, of course, not by choice. I'd wish I would be doing this race and farming I rating this week in VR, because uh, I love it around here. Um, but yeah, single monitor will have to do. I hope you, I hope you still enjoy the content. Um, yeah, hopefully it won't be for too long and we can, we can get that Oculus uh, back up and running but yeah remember to hit that like and subscribe button guys turn those notifications on and i'll see you for the next one